So we're talking about The Hand of God tonight. Uh, it's uh, an Italian film by Paolo Sorrentino and is a story of a boy growing up in the 80s in Naples. It's being considered Paolo's most personal film to date. Uh, and it's now been um, long listed uh, for BAFTA, for editing, directing, original screenplay, casting, best film, not in English language. And it's available to watch on Netflix and in theaters if you manage to catch it. We have Cristiano, the editor of the film. Uh, he started to work with Paolo on Il Divo um, and edited every film with him ever since and series um, and assisted on Paolo's previous films as well. Um, Paolo is a film director and screenwriter. He was born in Naples in the 70s and his uh, first full length feature film, One Man Up, is from 2001 and was selected for the Venice Film Festival. So off to a good start. His films, The Consequences of Love, The Family Friend, and This Must Be the Place, were in competition for Cannes. Um, he won the Cannes Jury Prize for El Divo. The Great Beauty won the Academy Award and the BAFTA Award for Best Foreign Language Film, as well as three European Film Awards. Um, he created the TV show, TV series, uh, The Young Pope, and then went on to be the new Pope uh, for the second season. And he directed also Loro, um, Loro and Youth, and I think that's it. But that's a lot, <laughs> enough. <laughs> so I will leave the mic to Paolo to have a nice chat about the hand of God with Cristiano. Please go and cheers. Yes, uh, thank you very much and uh, welcome to everybody. I am sorry, but uh, at the beginning, uh, the meeting was from eight to nine. So I am sorry if I have to leave, I am very sorry. So um, what can I say well, uh, about the editing work with uh, Cristiano? I, the, I think that the, the, the worst thing uh, that can happen in our uh, uh, life is uh, to go inside a room, uh, uh, a dark room at the beginning of the day at uh, 10 o'clock. So uh, because this is uh, the worst thing that can happen, uh, I need to have a relationship with the editor uh, that uh, it's not uh, a relationship about uh, the movie, but that must be a good relationship about uh, everything. And uh, I found many years ago uh, a friend, uh, first uh, a friend, then uh, a, an editor. Uh, and uh, this was uh, this is the most important thing that we are friends because uh, for me the editing means uh, uh, to build the movie uh, during uh, other things, uh, during uh, the chat, during uh, uh, laughing, uh, during uh, insulting each other. Um, uh, other than uh, the murder, uh, everything is allowed uh, in the editing uh, room. This is also the reason why nobody can come in the editing room, because uh, it can be a scandal. Um, a small scandal, nothing of, 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 of uh, unlegal. But uh, this is the relationship that we have. We, we speak uh, a lot about uh, football, first of all, about us, uh, um, about food, that is the, the most important thing uh, from the beginning of the day. And during these things, uh, we also speak about uh, the movie. So um, all that I can say is that the relationship with him is a, 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 is a, a, a relationship between friends. It's the most important thing. Because uh, uh, among between friends, uh, it's allowed to have uh, a strong uh, conflict. And uh, uh, like it's uh, said in the movie, the conflict is something of importance. And only through the conflict, I think that we can do a good job, that we can improve uh, uh, the editing of the movie, because the conflict stimulates uh, new ideas, uh, stimulates a sort of uh, revenge that we have uh, each other, a, 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 a joyful and a playful revenge, but it's something of a very, very useful uh, for the movie. And now I, I let the word to Cristiano, if you, I don't know if you agree. And um, I agree, I agree. I'm impressed about your English, it's very, very good. Yeah, and yeah. I love, I love the phone between your back, uh, which is a gift I did to him just a week ago. You give that phone, uh, there's a Naples phone, is very, very important. 
I'm, 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 I'm not going to bother you talking about that phone, but uh, I agree perfectly on every single word you said. Uh, I don't want to add uh, anything more because uh, it's true. It's uh, we're friends uh, and we're professional at the same time. Uh, we we laugh. We talk about food. We talk about football. We talk about everything and. Uh, there's something that maybe I don't know, maybe I don't know if it's true, but there's something that in, in, in Italian is called affinità elettiva. I don't know how to translate it in English, but Lilia can help me. Uh, if you listen to me, if she listens. No, to no, me. no. Sì, ti sto ascoltando, ma non ho capito cosa hai detto. Can you translate Mita. affinità elettiva? Ah, eh. <laughs> uh, that's a complicated one, but there's a uh, well, uh, elective affinity. That's the literal translation. So there's this uh, understanding without words. Yeah, something like that. It's it's, it's like a, a, we know each other for a long time. It's uh, more than 20 years, uh, and. Uh, Maybe we share a lot of things, uh, humor, uh, sense of humor, uh, music that we like, uh, uh, love for many, many things that help even in the working process. Uh, so yes, I consider him a, a director uh, to be aware of and also um, and to be scared of sometimes, sometimes, but at the same time a friend. Uh, all these things together, um, maybe help us to do a, a job together without, mm, without uh, mm, describing our, our process all the time. Maybe we can do it just watching ourselves in the eye and knowing what we, what we want. And sometimes we, of course, we fight. Uh, yeah, he always wins, I believe. And, <laughs> but uh, but uh, that in that conflict, there's something that it's very, very um, good for uh, the, the artistic process, I believe. So yeah. I don't know if I have to ask anything new. And we, we hear a lot of music. We, uh, another thing that we do in common that we love the music, so we spend a lot of yeah. time uh, hearing the music that yeah. helps us uh, to find... Uh, uh, the right mood of the scenes, uh, not only in order to put the music on the scene, but uh, the music is something that helps us uh, to find uh, to find the mood. Uh, the, the, the editing room is like a small party. It's a <laughs> small, small party where uh, if uh, something happens among the people that are over there, that are me, him, and a couple of assistants, uh, the work uh, can be good. So... Like in the parties, uh, we need to have uh, to be to be to be fine, to be in a good mood, to to have good feelings, uh, to not be to not be um, angry. Uh, the, the, the the previous editor before uh, Cristiano that I had was a wonderful editor, but uh, he had also many problems uh, about uh, the family, about the building where he lived. Uh, he had also um, problems to spend money and um, it looks like a stupid thing but uh, it was very distracting for the for the right uh, feelings uh, each other in order to uh, to build uh, a movie because uh, i think the editing room is something of uh, frustrating at the beginning um, where you are scared because um, I have always the feeling that uh, the movie is not coming well at the beginning of all, in the first draft of the editing, when the movie is long, when we don't find, of course, the right uh, rhythm of the movie. And so it's very helpful uh, to, to think to other things, um, the football, the music, uh, to laugh, uh, and everything um, is uh, part of the life uh, other than the work. That's true. I, 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 I don't know if you have a question. Maybe we, we are better to, 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 to answer questions than to speak because we speak each other since uh, 25 years. So we, we have finished the things to say each other. <laughs> so maybe if you have questions, you can help us. The topics are finished now. 
So um, as a first question to kick off about the hand of God, uh, this is um, clearly a bit of uh, an autobiography for you, Paolo. So how was it for the both of you to work on something so personal, both for you and for Cristiano to work something that was so personal to you? Uh, for me, what can I say? It was uh, a, a double feeling. Uh, the first part of the movie is uh, funny and uh, it was funny to do because we were looking for all the funny things. And um, both me and Cristiano are uh, obsessed by the funny things, by the small details that sometimes are so small that we uh, just me and him uh, laugh. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, they, they, there, are, uh, there are not other people in the audience in all the world that uh, um, finds uh, this kind of details and they, they never laugh, but just me and him laughed to those details. And this is a wonderful thing because uh, uh, I know that the details uh, I spent time during the shooting there is uh, uh, almost uh, uh, there is um, almost one person that can appreciate that and uh, and uh, it's him and uh, of course the end of god the second part of the movie is completely different and for me it was not easy because uh, um, many times uh, i was uh, emotional i was uh, ready to cry and even if we know very well each other since long time, I am always uh, um, shy and I don't like to cry in front of the people. I don't know if he, he found out me that I was crying or not. Probably yes, because we work very close. Uh, yes, the, the feelings of the movie were also the feelings of uh, myself uh, and uh, I think of Cristiano as well, because uh, he knows very well my story. We, we knew each other when we were, I was uh, 25 years old, so, and uh, probably he was uh, 27, because we started, we, we met each other exactly in a movie uh, that uh, of Antonio Capuano, the director that is, uh, is, uh, is mentioned in the movie. I wrote the script with the director and Cristiano was the uh, editor assistant um, of, the, of the editor of the movie. Yeah. yeah. And for you, Cristiano, can we... Uh, yes, uh, yes, I noticed uh, when uh, he was emotional about uh, the things we are going to see. And of course, there are many scenes in this movie. I edited, I edited it by myself. And I felt a, a big, big responsibility in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in building them because they were. I know I knew uh, all the story about his life, so in, there are some moments uh, that that, uh, that they were hard even for me to edit, to afford, to face because it it was. Uh, I know that I, that I knew that I were uh, working on a very, very sensitive material. Mm -hmm. So I never tell him, but in, in, in some moments I, I almost started to cry, even if it wasn't my story. Mm -hmm. Just because I knew that uh, he, he is going to come and see what we have done. So it, 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 there were, there were, while I was working, a lot of tension. Um, I don't know how to name this, this tension, but it was very, very different from the other movies. Is like uh, life and um, art were mixed together, and this moment where two or three in particular are very, very hard to me to edit because uh, I need to rewatch what I did, and every time I rewatch this thing, this thing was to me uh, really, really painful. Mm. I mean, personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, you have to think if uh, you've done a good job. So this two strange uh, poles are talking uh, together but are, uh, are in the opposite. So it's very, very strange feeling. I never, I never felt anything like that uh, while I was working. Okay, yeah. And, but I'm happy, I, I, I'm happy to do it, to do it, because it was uh, very, very intensive for me. It was a bit of extra pressure. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I, I read the, the questions. There is a oh, question cool. that asked me, is that the head of Diego Maradona behind you on the shelf? <laughs> the answer is a yes, because it's very... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the head of God. Yeah. 
um, <laughs> while uh, I read that. Um, there are some characters in the in in the film that are just completely they look made up uh, you know like the sister not coming never coming out of the bathroom and the the boyfriend with the metallic voice and and all that how 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 much of the whole thing is real and how much did you made up of of the characters and on, on the locations and of the story let's say no, the, the, um, what can I say about my sister? Of course, it was not real. She was also with us. <laughs> uh, but uh, it, 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 it's a sort of a perception of my childhood that my sister is uh, 15, years old, uh, 15 years older than me. And uh, she, when I was young, she was, uh, when I was a boy, she had the first boyfriend and she spent a lot of time in the, in the bathroom. So I exagger over exaggerated this thing. Uh, but many things are real and many things are uh, are uh, almost real yeah okay and any specific one that you want to tell us funny ones that you any particular one that you you can point out to us that might be a funny one that we didn't notice ah the, the details that uh, that we laugh and other people will laugh for example in the scene of the table um, there is a, a small line of an actor, but uh, it's, 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 it's not very clear, the, that line, but we know that happened and we laugh all the time. And there is this actor that asks uh, uh, wine and fruit, and he says, yes, but it's for the fruit, not for the wine, wine and fruit together. Uh, because uh, he's afraid that uh, the other people can think that uh, he's an alcoholic uh, addicted. <laughs> and uh, it's a very stupid thing, but uh, we laugh, but uh, nobody uh, noticed the, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, question from Alex, actually, uh, in or from Melania, in the scene where when there is a life-size puppet hanging from the roof of the Gallery Umberto, was the puppet of you, Paolo? No, 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 no. It's not me. It's. <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, a stuntman, and, uh, yeah, yeah, and um, ah, uh, somebody, uh, somebody, I have a question for Cristiano. How often do you challenge Paolo during the editing, like taking roads that were not written in the scripts? Also, how often do you edit Paolo's film films by yourself? Never. <laughs> Uh, never. I, I pre-edit the, uh, the films uh, uh, while they are shooting and then we met and we changed a lot of stuff and we... Uh, but some movies, for example, in Devo, we start uh, working together since the, the very beginning. And uh, I didn't, uh, didn't uh, take the other, the other question. When did you feel the necessity of telling this story? Ah, oh, this is for power. Uh, during the editing process, uh, were there seen sequences that were cut different than original intention? No, we cut uh, more than uh, one hour uh, of the movie. We cut an entire part of the movie. In the script, there was a long part in the Stromboli Island uh, where, the, where Fabietto, the main character, uh, uh, met uh, the, <coughs> the actress uh, uh, that was in Naples. And there was a long part of the movie that, where they met each other in the island and they fall in love with each other. And then she uh, decides to give up uh, to him. And we cut uh, an entire, that entire part of the love story between these two guys. We cut everything. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah. because well, uh, yeah. That was the, 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 the biggest change we, we did uh, on this movie. Uh, compare it from uh, on, on the script uh, because uh, there's a, a, a trip the, the main character uh, did going to Stromboli. She met this girl, she has uh, they have an affair there very quick, and we transform this uh, this trip in a long, lonely trip. It's completely different, it's the opposite, even in the mood. This is the I think the big, uh, the big change we did. Uh, uh, on, on the film, the biggest one. 
Okay. Maybe it's, it's something that happens all the time. I have, we have all, always at the beginning, we have a, a first uh, cut of uh, three hours, three hours and ten minutes. It happens all the time. Because unfortunately, I write a long script and during the shooting, I add the scenes at the original script that I invent on the set. And so at the end, we have this long, long, long movie. In, in fact, the perfect uh, editing um, was uh, when I did the, the TV show because it was 10, uh, 10 uh, episodes and we, 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 we didn't uh, need to cut. Uh, but, but we cut a lot even there. <laughs> we, we cut a lot, but not like, uh, like for the end of God or, or for another movie we did, Il Divo. A, a, it was a movie about a politician in Italy where we cut, I don't remember well, but almost 40 minutes. We cut almost oh, 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 40 minutes, yes. So, how, uh, how do you decide this? So, obviously, you have these disagreements, and then you decide who's winning, and in this, you decide what gets cut and what doesn't. How does this process work? I, I think that uh, uh, the cut happens usually after a, a long time that we are editing the movie, so we know very well the movie, we are tired of the movie, we don't like the things, everything looks like slow. And so we start to think that we, we are too much slow. And uh, so the reason why we cut uh, is uh, because we want to be fast uh, and we don't want to uh, bother uh, the, the, the audience. That's, uh, that's the reason. Yeah. And and the, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, the disagreements uh, are not on biggest thing. Uh, for example, what we talked about this cut on uh, in the end of God was... Uh, I, I, I was agreeing with him uh, with this. Sometimes we disagree on little details, uh, but not on big, uh, big, big choices. Yes. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. And we cut all, also scenes that we love. In The Great Beauty, for example, we cut uh, a long, long scene um, that was uh, a very beautiful scene, in my opinion. But uh, that scene, unfortunately, um, slow down all the movie and uh, so we were forced to cut that scene yeah just healthy decisions really and just a quick one not on the hand of god how so except for this obviously the length is a big difference but how was it different to cut a, a, a tv series uh comparing to a to a film no, no, no. I think that there are no differences other than the episodes. No, there are no differences. I think that we have the same uh, approach. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know very well the television rules. I just know that at the end of every episode, uh, we need a sort of uh, hook uh, for the next episode. And we try to respect it. the only rule that we know about the television uh, series. We yeah. don't. We, we we never always respect the the hook stuff. But yes, uh, I I believe uh, that we work exactly as we do in a film. The interesting part is that sometimes something that was foreseen in an episode could migrate in another episode, and this is interesting because every episode has a, a main story inside. So sometimes uh, you can is not exactly like a movie cut in 10 parts. It's something different, but uh, The Young Pope and The New Pope as well, uh, in my opinion, are not so close to the classic uh, TV series rules. Uh, mm -hmm. They are more free. This is my opinion. And well, it was also sort of peculiar that you edited the whole thing. It's not that often that, that yeah. one editor edits. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. It was very hard. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why, but maybe because I I know him, and maybe it was mm, the best way. This, this stuff was uh, was uh, new for for me and him, so maybe it was good to uh, to work as we always do, and not uh, uh, use use other other editors. I don't know. Yeah. But it was very 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 hard. To do. <laughs> how, how long did you work on on those? How long? Uh, how much time did you have to edit the whole shows? I think uh, almost a year. Well, that's... For season. For season, because uh, 
Uh, and the shooting last uh, six months. Just yes. Now. Yes. 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 So almost a year, just less than a year. Okay. Well, that's really quite okay, considering it's ten hours of stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. Um, okay. I think Paolo has to go very soon. Um, can we do one more quick question? Because I can see a lot of music questions coming up. Uh, they. Uh, yeah, about the music questions I answer, otherwise then I leave and Cristiano will say that he chose all the music, so I need to present oh. to be... <laughs> yeah, okay. No, no, not at all. I actually, I actually, I actually No, the, <laughs> the, uh, some, uh, some music are in the script, uh, but not always the music that are in the scripts then work uh, on the editing, but sometimes uh, it happened that the music that were what were, were written in the script uh, are, uh, are also the music that we put uh, in the final uh, editing of the movie. And uh, no, the, 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 uh, I bring a lot of uh, file with music. Cristiano do exactly the same thing. Uh, I have to say that he choose uh, always uh, um, assistants that uh, uh, they have a good knowledge of the music as well. So we put, uh, we listen all the music all together. Everybody propose a music for a scene. And uh, then, um, uh, then it's something that you feel when a music works uh, on, on a scene. It's, it's something that... Uh, The music, uh, la musica impone, si impone da sola sulla scena, Lidia, come si dice? The music imposes itself on its own, on the scene. Yeah. Uh, so the, at what point of the edit do you often, it depends uh, when you put... No, during, during, during uh, uh, at, from the beginning we put the music. Right away you start from, with... From the beginning yeah. we put the music, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we don't find the right music, so we ask to the musician... Uh, to do something of a very precise that we explain uh, him. And so the music, uh, sometimes it's a choice of mine, sometimes uh, it's uh, something that uh, Cristiano brought or uh, the assistant. Um, um, everything uh, can, uh, can happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very, very free. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we thank you greatly. Paolo, for being here. Oh, thank you very much. I am very sorry to leave. This is one of the most funny Zoom I have done. So I am very <laughs> You can try and come back when you finish the other stuff if you want. We might still be here. Drinking. Unfortunately, I have to leave the house. Okay. Oh, no, okay. Thank Bye, you very Paolo. much. Tom. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you so much. Paolo. Thank you. Cristiano. Mi farò vedere la dedica di Thomas Schoolmaker eh, che mi hai mandato per dirgli che Vado a vedere, vado a vedere. Grazie Paolo, Bye. grazie mille. Bye. Ciao. Uh, ma Paolo used to joke with me saying to me I, I teach you everything you know about editing no no it's okay uh, it's okay and uh, of course he jokes uh, and uh, he gave me this I, I can show you but it, it's, it's very difficult to read this is uh, from Thelma Schoolmaker mm -hmm. and, and she says Martin taught me everything I, I knew about editing so <laughs> <laughs> and he always tell me keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. <laughs> uh, so that's all. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> yeah, okay, same, same. <laughs> okay, so we have a river of questions. I haven't managed to read them all, but in the meantime, um, oh. so questions I had. Um, obviously, with Paolo, there's a lot of kind of choral scenes with a lot of people, big tables, dinner, lunches. In this one in particular, there's the big lunch uh, when you know they're waiting for the boyfriend of, the, of his sister to come. Um, on these obviously very difficult scenes, how, what's your process? How do you start and where, like, how do you just chuck stuff in the timeline? Do you watch everything? How do you? Actually, the, the, the process is, is the same for the complex scenes and also for the more simple one. I spend a lot of time watching the material, the footage. I mean, for a three, four hours longer shooting, 
uh, scene. I can spend one day only watching and taking notes uh, on every single thing that impressed me, not, not only the acting, sometimes the expression, stuff like that. And, uh, and I edit the scene in a very, very short time. The funny part is very short for me. <laughs> but the, the study of the, the, the footage is really, really long. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I think that many editors are here uh, watching. Um, on the timeline, I um, spend a lot of uh, locators, the markers uh, on, uh, on the timeline. They have different color uh, because they mean something different. Uh, and, I keep, and I keep describing every single marker. So I, when I edit, I move through the markers in a way. Uh, because I, uh, I'm obsessed on knowing everything is on the page. I, I have to know exactly what it should. I can't, uh, if I haven't seen one, two times all the, all the material, uh, I, I can't even make this with a scout. Uh, it's very, very painful, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but in a way, uh, it's how I work and it's, it is the only way I, I, find, I found to, to edit. So that scene, of course, was uh, difficult uh, compared to other more simple things, more simple scenes. But at the same time, and, and we, we edit it uh, several times, only to shorten it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the main decision remains the same. Uh, when you have uh, all, all in your mind, it's very, it's very easy. Uh, of course, that is not easy scenes, but uh, yeah, I, I, we did, it didn't take uh, a lot of time to be to, to it. Okay, because you already make your... Yeah, because you st I study a lot. I study too much. I, I study too much. So I know exactly <laughs> where... I, I can only say one thing. The, the black marker means uh, this thing has to be in the field. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the black markers are very, very few. But uh, uh, this, this, this moment uh, is, is important. But it not necessarily is um, a great acting moment. Maybe it's only a sight of a character. Yeah. But uh, from the and sometimes I build the scenes uh, starting from, from, from that. So it, it, it depends on uh, the scene. Of course, that scene was very, very difficult. It was a cold scene, very colorful. A lot of um, events uh, during the scene all mixed together. So it was difficult. Yeah, it was. Um, so you worked, as, as Paolo said as well, you worked as an assistant before on the first yeah. three films. Yeah, I started, I started with this. Is, uh, uh, I started with a, with a film made by Antonio Capuano, mm -hmm. uh, written by him. And uh, when I read the first time, the script was amazing. I mean, it was uh, uh, incredible. Uh, the, the movie is called The Polvere di Napoli. Uh, I don't know how to translate it, but... The Napoli Dust of Naples. Naples. The Dust of Naples, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met him for the first time uh, there in Naples. I was working in Naples. And then uh, I start to be assistant editor in his first uh, full-length film, uh, uh, Love in Q. Uh, One Man Up. Yes. Yeah. Then I, 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 I be assistant in um, One Man Up. One uh, Man Up, they translate. Up. Yes, uh, The Consequences of Love. And I, I started to collaborate in editing in uh, Family's Friend. Then uh, I became uh, chief editor on uh, In Vivo. Chief editor, yeah. In two, uh, 2008. Cool. And you never left. <laughs> I never left till now. <laughs> but yes, yes. Uh, yes, so it's, it's fun because uh, we start, he started uh, to be a director and I started to be an editor uh, as well. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's like um, two careers uh, running together. So how did you find to get into the editing, the, the chief editing position with him? Yeah, well? yeah, it's, it was an incident because uh, the other, the other uh, accident, by chance, uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, by chance because the other editor was uh, busy on another, on another film. And so you started? So, uh, yes, 
it started like that. But I, I did uh, already um, cut, uh, edit uh, some short uh, of mm -hmm. Paolo's and, um, and collaborate in uh, the family's friend for, uh, for several scenes. Cool. So we, we, we did start uh, very slowly to work together at the time yeah, in the previous movie. And in that same length of time as well, you, you've seen Tony Servillo, the main actor yeah. in The Hand of God. You've seen him literally in quite nearly every film, I think. Yes. All the films? Not all of them. No, not in all the films. It's, it's not in youth. And it's in the, and, and, and not in, uh, of course, in, in New Pope and uh, Young Pope, and it's not in... Uh, this must be the place. Uh, and this must be the place, yes. Yeah. But you've seen him obviously growing as a as a legend yeah. of an actor as well because I don't yeah. think he was really well known in the one in one man up and yeah. now he's like yeah of course yes God and how how did you see that growing because I mean to me it was great from the start it, to be honest but uh, once I tell I, I appreciate a lot him as an actor, of course. Uh, I did know him even before uh, once man, one man's up because he was a, a, a theater uh, actor, very very famous in the theater environment. But I'm not, I'm not in, in that. I never um, asked Paolo why uh, this relationship is so strong. Uh, I never asked. So I keep for myself the the the. Um, uh, 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 you say the mystery. <laughs> so it's um, I know it's it's important. I think they have the same relationship we had. We have, of course, more deep, uh, deeper than us. Uh, and uh, he he is like he pro is projecting himself in his actor. He, he know exactly how to work with him. Uh, he doesn't want to change. Uh, so. But I don't know the, the, the reason, because I never asked myself uh, why it was good for me, and uh, I keep uh, going like that. Of course, it's, uh, if I was a, a journalist and a critic, and I had to uh, write uh, uh, the biography of Paolo Sorrentino, it was maybe the first, uh, the first question I did to him. <laughs> uh, you should have asked it tonight. But that, that is you now uh, is not here anymore. So okay. we should have <laughs> asked me so we could have asked him in advance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, this film is obviously a lot about Naples, but you are not from Naples. Yeah. Right? How? What relationship do you have with Naples, and and how is your feeling about? You know, yeah, uh, I come from the north, from a region called Emilia Romagna. Uh, and I think I work a lot with Paolo because my mother is a great uh, ravioli, pumpkin ravioli uh, dishes cooker. So uh, I started with him by corruption, I believe. But uh, uh, at the same time, uh, I uh, lived in Naples for almost two years at the beginning of my career as in editing, like an assistant uh, editor. And it, it is very, very different, of course, of my, my city, which is a small city in the north. But um, there's something in Naples that it's very, very uh, difficult for me to, to explain. It's, um, it's not only magic. This is like there's something um, so colorful, so different. It, it's, uh, it's a mood that maybe I don't know really 100 percent but my relationship it's like i was um, drawing in beauty for all the time i was there there's no it's like a roman it's better than rome in a way it's, there's oh, and of course there are, there are many many issues in that city but at the same time um is uh, something so big that you can you can non puoi fare finta che non sia di fianco a te non so come dirlo you but can't it, pretend that it's not right by you. You can be yourself. The city is always with you. It's it's always is always uh, pushing you in some ways. And in the, in Italy, there are a lot of artists from Naples. It's a very very um, I don't know artistic city with a lot of news with uh, a lot of directors. Uh, so it, there's something magic in this city. 
But I think that also for Paolo, Naples was uh, something to go, go back uh, in. He, he started to, to stay away from Naples for several years. And now uh, he came back to talk about himself and his city and uh, what he felt in the 80s. Uh, but of course, his city is something that mm, it was away from, from him for a while. Mm. And he go back to speak again with the city. Magic. Mm. Nice. Um, let me check some questions. Well, actually, meanwhile, what is your favorite film from Paolo Sorrentino? I don't know. Uh, we always, uh, I don't know. We always uh, uh, say ourselves, I don't know if I can tell this, but I, I tell. <laughs> okay. We always, but, we the I got, no, 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 no. Uh, you always, uh, we always uh, talk about uh, the things we have done and we, we think that um they are all unperfect unperfect is is it correct yeah, uh, yeah. there's only one thing with that it's perfect which is in vivo how do you think the others are not perfect they always have something that doesn't work it's like a asymmetry 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 in dramaturgy there's something uh, not really balanced we love we love uh, this movie as well, but if we have to uh, think about perfection, something that is perfect from the first second to the end is the Divo. So maybe in Divo. Uh, so now that you said that, so what, what is the imperfection in the hand of God? Uh, of course, uh, uh, let's give the good meaning to this uh, uh, name, <laughs> imperfection. So. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's uh, what, what you feel that uh, it's very, it's very, it's very, um, uh, uh, it's very difficult to explain. It's like, um, for example, the Great Beauty. It, it's a, it's a, movie, it's a film that has a lot of uh, stories all connected one uh, on each other, and then in one moment it starts to go in one direction. It's like the movie choose to go to this direction and you can stop it and you can um, uh, conform it in a way. But this is a good thing about cinema. Yeah, but I uh, uh, this, is what, this is what I like in many two four films, for example. In many two four, fi two, four films, uh, at the moment, uh, Francois Truffaut decided to bring you to the sea and to, uh, to make you see the sea. And maybe it's not... Uh, so uh, important for that movie, but I like this uh, moment of uh, when the movie goes so somewhere else. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if uh, you understand, but it's. Uh, I don't think this is imperfection. Uh, imperfection. No, it's not. Yeah, uh, it's not bad uh, necessarily. I, yes, uh, it's. Uh, um, it's it's hard to to explain. Maybe Paolo is, is better than me in this thing, but <laughs> it's like. Uh, um, we would like to, for example, we, um, Paolo uh, talked uh, just a few minutes ago about a, um, a scene we cut mm -hmm. in uh, The Red Beauty, which is very, very beautiful for us. Uh, and it's very, very painful till now for me to get rid of that, got rid of this, uh, this scene uh, at the time. But we know uh, that uh, um, uh, the movie, uh, it was too slow in that moment. It was a, a, a necessary sacrifice for, um, for to not interrupt too much the pace of the, of the movie, okay. of the film. Uh, we did the, as well something uh, like this in, in Indivo, but it was different. It's like uh, uh, maybe uh, there's also a, a three hours last long uh, version of... Um, of the film, and uh, and for me, there's uh, one version that is uh, five, 15 minutes longer of the actual one, that for me it seems shorter and better. So, and for him, maybe the longest one is better. It's like the movie. This is the imperfection. Yes. The movie is the, is that he won the Oscar, so we are all, all yeah. happy. But uh, we know that it could be different and maybe better. 
And we don't know if you have done all the things. Uh, this is my opinion. I don't know if you agree with me. Uh, I, I translate imperfection in, in, in this uh, way. In El Divo, there's nothing we have done that it's, uh, we have not this, uh, we don't have these regrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Sorry for it all my felt like a uh, right. Yeah. From the it's beginning. not yeah. breathing, it's like uh, the great beauty is breathing and is reclaiming to be different, uh, but it's done. So this is uh, something uh, I think maybe it's um, something stupid, I don't know. No. But uh, this is what I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now really people, questions. Uh, I'm just going to go randomly because there's so many. Um, Justin asks, uh, what was the biggest challenge in the edit of this movie? Uh, the biggest challenge, uh, as I said before, was, uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, comparing this movie to the previous uh, uh, Paolo Sorrentino's movie, there's a difference. And it's uh, maybe his style. Uh, we talk a lot about music, uh, just 10 minutes ago, and uh, the previous uh, the movie, the previous movie before uh, uh, The End of God was Lore, which was a, a, a really, really pop rock uh, uh, movie, cinematic, uh, full of music, completely different, quick, uh, quick editing, something completely different. Here in this movie, it changed, uh, it made a switch in style. Uh, of course, if we talk about editing, uh, um, uh, for me, talking about editing, it's talking about form, talking about form, it's talking about uh, style. There's a quote by one great director from Italy, which is called Bernardo Bertolucci, who always say, style is a, uh, a moral matter. So uh, it's important. So uh, it's not something, in the story is important, and how do you wrote it? How do you sculpt it? How do you edit it? It's important. So uh, <clears throat> maybe the, 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 the main difficulty in this, in this film was to switch smoothly or not smoothly, I don't know, from uh, the first part, which was colorful, joyful, uh, mm -hmm. uh, freed, um, uh, quick edit, and um, how to, to, to inform, to, to express the change in a smooth way from that world to this world. Focus on uh, what happened next. I'm not saying it because maybe someone doesn't see the movie. So I uh, haven't seen the movie, so uh, I don't know what I can say. For, uh, uh, and uh, maybe it's, it's to get from the... Um, the happiness, which is always nostalgic, because it's remembering all this family, all this room, all these colors, uh, these fights, these um, incredible uh, <coughs> moments, to this uh, uh, loneliness moment. Mm -hmm. And it's not like uh, the editing was quick and it became long. It's not so simple. It's something different, to the, which is... Uh, Maybe, maybe it was the, the main challenge in this uh, film. And of course, for me, doing, editing, editing this, uh, uh, um, several scenes, it was very, very difficult, but for, in a personal, for personal reasons. Because and the responsibility, as I said, to make it um, be good, like dramatic scenes, at the same time to respect the person uh, who's going to be uh, to sit uh, next to you because you're talking about something that is inside him. So it's um, it's 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 not easy. You want to make it just to the story. You too. saw the movie. You saw the film. Yeah, yeah. So imagine me showing him the first time that scene, so you can understand how I felt. Yeah, did you? Uh, I think I'd leave the room probably. <laughs> I didn't leave. It. I didn't. No, I haven't do it. But uh, but mm, no, because we were working together. Okay. But yeah. uh, the first time I show him a scene was was difficult, and uh, and not a word uh, in the room, of course. Even even uh, later, yeah. we didn't talk for a while. Oh, 
of the moment of the movie. Yeah, we yeah. Pass it, uh, we, when, when we make a screening for us, uh, we, we were focusing on other moments, but not in those moments. Mm. And did, uh, did, that scene, did that scene change a lot from the one you, you edited, from the first? No, not a lot, not a lot. Mm. So I you mean, uh, very, very little, little change. Okay. Um, okay, random. Tell us about the role of assistant ed editors in your productions. Uh, uh, well, uh, I used to to take editors that are uh, cultur culturally uh, close. I am more interesting in um, in um, their imagination than in uh, in, <laughs> in 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 their tastes in music, art, um, films, and uh, if they're prepared historically in cinema, it, for me, it's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, I teach within a school, and uh, when you see a 20 years old uh, student and he doesn't know who uh, François Truffaut is now, at the moment, in 2022, uh, you get angry, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, I'm very, very, I try to focus on um, if they have this uh, passion, uh, even for historical uh, films, uh, if they're prepared, uh, if, uh, and I always, we all, we always, me and Paolo, when we edited see, a scene, um, I always ask my assistant what they think about the scene. Mm -hmm. I make them enter the room and I, and I ask them, tell me what you think about this scene. And when they don't like, I learned this, when they don't like it, they always say what, this, this sentence, it's strange. <laughs> it, it, they, they, that means I have to re-edit the scene because it's a mess. Wrong with it. They don't say it's awful. They say it's strange in Italy, they say like that. So yeah. I learned that strange is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, and sometimes I don't agree with, with them, of course, but if they are, they are really involved in the, um, in the process. There and it's funny for this because uh, because they stay, maybe they watch and they can uh, think uh, in a different way um, to us. So we, when we work, maybe we don't see something and they see something we, we haven't noticed. So it's important. Definitely. Mm -hmm. How many, do you have two assistants on this film? Or? On this film too, yes. Um, okay, let's see. How early are you involved in the film? At the point of receiving the rushes or is it ever before shooting? Uh, well, before shooting, uh, yes, it happens. Uh, we, he always uh, make me read the script and he always listen to my advices sometimes. He had followed my advice, I think, 1% of the time, <laughs> uh, I think, but it's okay. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, I edit the, the film uh, during the shooting, so when, when, you, can, when, when you finish, the, the, the film is almost finished. But as I always say, that is that, that the, the real editing starts. Yeah. You know, and so... Uh, Yes, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm involved, uh, yes, uh, I, give some, I give him some advices uh, about things that maybe doesn't work or, or yeah, it happens. Not, not so uh, always, uh, no, not, not always, uh, sometimes. He, he listens to them, whether it does. Yeah, just a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's very, very confident. Yeah. So, um, I mean, rightly so at this point. Um, how many months does it usually take to cut a Sorrentino's film? Mm, well, uh, this this film, I think, eight months, eight months. But the the uh, we um, we finished the um, the first edit uh, really really quick. Then we stop for a while. We we start watching the films. Maybe don't doing anything uh, more for a while. Maybe we change just the sequence, then uh, we, uh, we keep watching it and watching it, and, um, and then we go back to work, it, work on, on the film uh, again. So this movie, I think, lasts uh, eight months. 
eight months uh, at all. Yes, or seven. That's, that's I remember Devo was seven months, and uh, the Great Beauty was longer, so more time. Um. So, music. Okay, there was a, a question about the end song, uh, Pino song. I, I, I read, I read the, 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 the answer. He chose uh, the, chose that one. the, the Pino Daniele tunes, yes. But in the script, uh, uh, there were another, another song. Okay. Which yeah. one do we know? Uh, I don't remember it now, but it, was, uh, it, it wasn't um, uh, Italian. Oh, it was not an Italian song. No, it was an Italian song, and uh, then we choose it. That, that song in Italy is very, very famous. Is um, the only uh, concern we had at the time was, isn't it too pop, um, too famous uh, from Naples uh, because it's a singer very famous in in Naples. But we, uh, at the same time, it works very well, and it was exactly what the, the movie need uh, in that moment. So I, I really appreciate this choice. Yeah, I think I think it's great. Although I'm not a fan of Pino Daniele, but I thought yeah. it was a beautiful choice for the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, me neither. I'm not a fan, but yeah. uh, I, I think it's a very, very good choice. Yeah, and I, that not, is there, I mean, is there a lot of times that the music you, uh, you place, you don't like? It, like as a, as music, not like they use like this one. You know, it's clear that it fits with the film, but yeah. it wouldn't. You wouldn't even have found it because you you don't. No, you because that that, don't, that song yeah. was uh, yeah, thinking about the process. A simple choice, yeah. too simple. But at the same time, uh, this simple choice was the right choice. Mm. It's not always like that, but we uh, understood that uh, it was too easy to pick up the song, but at the same time, it, it was uh, perfect. Sometimes. I can say it was perfect. Sometimes. I don't know if the movie is perfect now. In a month, we, we, we're going to think about the movie and say that it's perfect, it's not. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, actually, talking about perfect, is there something you would change about the editing of this movie? Uh, when I rewatch uh, the movies, uh, I've done, not only with Paolo, I, I would think I, I want to change everything. <laughs> but uh, everything. Uh, why I did this crap? It's always, no, where was I? It's, it's, always, it's always like that. So now, anything. Uh, in two months, within two months, uh, uh, no, now nothing. In two, within two months, a lot of things. I think. But I'm wrong. <laughs> because I know, yeah, I know I'm wrong. Because I know that uh, you will be, your future self will be wrong. No, because uh, we did the, the right choice and we were very focused. But when you rewatch, because there's a time you you see you see a movie you've done. Yeah, after six months, you want to change everything. After six years, you think ah, it was good. <laughs> so uh, I'm waiting. <laughs> six <laughs> till I can tell you in six months, please call me. But, uh, I don't want to change anything. It's like the, the, the levels of grief. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. No, I, I remember the great beauty. Angry, everything, you everything. Angry, you get depressed. Yeah, and yeah. You Only two or three scenes were good for me in a two hours, 26 minutes long film. And then uh, later I rewatch it uh, by chance and uh, and say no, it was a right choice. Okay, better so the, yeah. 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 Um, did you have storyboards? No, not at all. Never on any film. Never, never. Um, okay, I think maybe. May I'm just kind of going up because I'm just reading the latest ones. Okay, who are your biggest inspirations working in cinema today? God, uh, uh, my biggest inspiration, you mean, uh, uh, at all? Uh, I guess, uh, like, uh, like, uh, 
don't know, editors, directors, films? Uh, there's, no, there's, there's, there's many, many editors, yeah. of course. I like, uh, my biggest inspiration is what it starts uh, for me. I know it's a, a kind of romantic and stupid things to say. Uh, one, I start to, to understand that cinema was something different about uh, a simple entertainment. Once I... I decided to rewatch uh, a movie I liked uh, at the time, uh, three, four times in theater, in theaters, because I couldn't stop. So, if I have to say what it changed uh, my feelings when I was uh, young, uh, from uh, the cinema is something you uh, enter, is it something to have fun, or is something that. Uh, I can do. Uh, touch something inside of you. I may thank uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick, Agnès Varda, uh, François Truffaut, of course, uh, and the, the great directors of the past. Yes. When I start thinking cinema is, some, is something that maybe is more uh, that the passion that brings all or uh, us to do something in cinema or just to just loving it loving it i'm sorry for my english it's uh, now it's, it's a okay. mess but i uh, understand there are of course a lot of a, a lot of uh, because that i like uh, but i don't there are so many that i don't want to yeah, make no. just one then you miss you miss so yeah. much no good <laughs> um so did you find any C? No, well, we talked about that. Uh, and that too. There was a very first question about, uh, actually, you know, at the beginning, there's um, there's the scene, the characters at, at home in the morning, there's the sequence with the baroness mm -hmm. ringing the bell, a fast cut to Daniela trimming her toenail, and finally there's the door opening. opening. Um, there's some kind of music in these edits. Uh, he, uh, Martino would like to know if, if some of it was written before filming mm. or the final result is an intuition in the process of editing. So those little snippets. It wasn't in the script. Uh, in, in, the, in the bathroom, in that scene, I had, uh, um, of course, uh, her cutting the nails, uh, but also her, um, I don't know, um, her, um, what should I do, his uh, t shirt. Okay. Uh, and I decided not to put that. Uh, it was not in the city, it was uh, anything. And I don't think that it was mentioned that Daniela was in the bathroom in the script. So it was only, yes, of course, because he, he, the father knocked at the door, but she won't, she won't, uh, she doesn't want to come out. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, the script doesn't say that, that we, we, saw, we see something inside the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we only see the, the closed door from outside. So he chose to make, um, uh, to shoot something inside the bathroom and they put only that uh, detail. Okay, cool. So that was uh, something that yeah, he decided yeah. kind of on the shoot to do some detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He decided to shoot it when, when it was there, but it wasn't uh, foreseen in the script. And, well, those are just such great little details. It's so good. Because um, you, you, just, you just blink and you miss them, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no, it's very fast, I know, but uh, yeah, I but don't it's know why I, 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 it's hard to explain the reason of the long, uh, how, it was uh, more about, it's something uh, I felt uh, and uh, for me it works, even if it's, too, it's very short. Yeah, it was more about yeah. whether it was planned or you just yeah, yeah, yeah. on in the edit. Yeah. Um, cool, I think we're also over the hour now, so we don't want to keep you here too long. Uh, I think I have... Uh, uh, well, more generic, another director alive <laughs> with whom you'd like, you'd like to work. Even here, yeah, there are many, many of them. Uh, I'm uh, uh, a really, really great fan of uh, Thai directors uh, uh, that I can name it because I can't tell exactly well his name, but because he's uh, a Pichapong very satical and he's one of my favorite directors. Uh, uh, living now, I love, of course, uh, I, I love a lot Lantimos. Uh, I saw, I don't know what do you think, but the last Galaxy movie really, really moved me. 
Leo Scarax, uh, there, are, there are a lot of... Uh, Deplechan, Deplechan is another director I really love. I really love. So there are many, there are really a lot. How but you... Apishapong is the first one. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, Apishapong is the name. I can't say the surname. <laughs> I can't pronounce the surname, so I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> you do work with other directors as well, you know, like yeah. with Paolo. Um, how do you find the difference with, because obviously you have such a deep relationship with Paolo that I don't know if you have with other directors. The same yeah, thing. yeah, I know. If... Uh, they are all interesting in, in, in different ways. Uh, um, difference is, uh, of course, Paolo is something I can understand. Yes, that one. <laughs> vere, a picture from Vere Sataku. Vere Sataku. <laughs> that one. Uh, um, is, uh, is the same. In a way, they are different. They are different ca uh, characters, but the. Uh, um, I always, uh, I don't, I'm not saying I always become friend uh, of these people, but I uh, sometimes uh, it, I bring, uh, bring uh, them to talk about movies. Uh, they always interest. I always find someone who, who is um, involved in cinema like I am, of course. Mm. So, no, uh, I have good relationship with even with the others. Uh, uh, Paolo is the, is the one that I know since a long time. Yeah, that's. And uh, I work with uh, with um, Francesco Munzi, which is uh, another Italian director. We were uh, student in the same uh, cinema school together, and he's a friend of mine also. I did only one movie of him, but uh, when we work, uh, as Paolo said, uh, we became professional. It's different. Is it's not exactly the party that uh, the part that Paolo was. Uh, <laughs> there, are moments, there are moments, of course, of uh, complete um, joy, and uh, we, yeah, we did also, also this. But then we, we work, and there are moments very, 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 very intense uh, in working with Paolo. An intense party. <laughs> yeah, intense party. A very silent intense party. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Who, I don't um, you explain myself in English. Uh, is okay. It is okay. Yeah, is yeah. It, it was okay. great. So, far. Okay. so we uh, we went over the hours. So I think we. I think I asked. Hopefully, most of the questions. Please yeah. uh, point out if I forgot anybody. Or, please, guys, unmute yourself. Say hello. Do ask the questions that I didn't see. <laughs> um, and you know our usual, because then we're gonna let you go soon. Because. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for having me. And uh, it, it was a great honor. I hope you under, understand even 50% of what I said <laughs> because of my English. Because Thank of my you. English. It was great. Thank you, Thank you very much. Ciao a tutti. Ciao a tutti.